Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Lynn and in this video that I'm introducing, it is being released out of order. So we wanted to get this video out because of what we did in this video, we did an upgrade. So you'll see the upgrade in this video, but then in our videos to come that have been pre-recorded, they are going to have this upgrade that we've done not included. We did change out some seats, so that is the big upgrade. It's a It was a big to-do, but it was well worth it. When you see the videos that we're going to be releasing after this, you'll notice the changes that we've made are back to normal or how they originally were before this video. We just wanted to give you this little intro, that way you knew that this is being released out of order before a bunch of the other videos have had time to release because we do have quite a backlog. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up and give us a comment below and if you think this upgrade is worth it. What do you got there? We have upgraded to these new, very fancy air ride seats. Yeah. Legacy. This is what we got. It was how much? Seven hundred and thirty-five or something. A seat. Yeah, per seat. Seven-year warranty on them. They are air ride. Fully adjustable. Two armrests, and the yeah. armrests themselves are adjustable. Just like I know a lot of you probably aren't familiar with truck semi truck seats, but these are very similar because they're adjustable under under here. Oh, those are semi truck seats. Yeah, they are semi truck seats, but most people are familiar with maybe an RV seat, but. So what we got currently is these right here. They're electric, which is okay. The seats themselves are okay, but Lynn has this pillow here. Oh, hey, pipe. Because <laughs> they have no lumbar, so Lynn keeps that pillow there. And even I complain that these the seats are too high. Yeah, and Mike is 6'2". When I drive, I have to, like, scooch forward <laughs> because it's hard to reach the pedals. They're, there's, I'm at the full adjustment. These are the factory uh, mounting points for International right here. Nexus just puts their seat and their base in there. So it should be a pretty straightforward swap. But the problem is, is that we have a Wraith. The Wraith does not have air brakes or air rides, so we need an air supply, don't that's we? That's correct, we do. And so. that's why I picked up this. I picked it up for the tank and the pump, and it came with horns, so... We'll probably throw the horns on, even though we already put our electric air horns on there. Right. See, but you replaced the city horn, which is like, if with trucks they have a city horn and which an is air horn, beep, beep, and an air horn, which is rah, rah. so. Maybe we'll see how these sound in conjunction with the city horn. Yeah, this kit was two hundred and fifty-seven dollars, so that's why I got it because it's cheap. I literally just wanted a tank and a pump. Right. Now, the thing is, what you see is what you get. I had to source all my own wiring and everything else. <laughs> yeah, but I believe in you. I know you can do it. Right. I and mean, it's not a problem. It's just for some people, they want the complete kit. This is straight off the boat from China. It's a Vixen horn kit, I guess. Pretty much everything straight off the boat from China. Yeah. Except these seats were especially Oh, these, made. yeah, these seats are, they are nice. But to get these seats to fit properly, we had to buy this uh, base plate or pedestal. Right. When we get to the point where we're going to put the seats in, we'll show you. We've got to put that in first, and the seat goes on that. Correct. But I'm excited. Me too. That's going to be amazing. What do you think, Piper? Are you ready for some new seats? You get some Air Ride, Air Ride puppy seats? <laughs> This is the air compressor to the tank, pressure switch, pressure gauge. I got the release valve, compression fitting, and then I got a quick connect. And I got my holes drilled up here so I can go ahead and put the tank in. Now the tank is in. I think I get the compressor mounted. It's gonna be a little more fun.
don't mind the mess, but I got to the point where I got the switch wired up. Turns the air compressor on. It's been a long day. Yeah, you've been busy. I've been in here all day long and I've been cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. And it's still trashed, but I believe the air tank and the horn is done. Yeah, and it looks really good. You did a great job. So, should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. All right. Here you can see the pressure gauge I put in, and I also put in this quick disconnect. That way I can use it to air up tires and stuff like that. Oh, okay. If I have an air tank, might as well take advantage of it. Right. It's a small tank, but we have small needs. <laughs> this is the switch that turns on the air compressor, and this is the one that activates the solenoid on the horns. When you hit this, you should hear the solenoid click. Oh, yep, definitely heard that. But there's no air, so there's no beep. Right. So we'll turn the pump on. And it is building pressure. <laughs> Guy barked at it. It's loud, too. I put it right here. I gotta clean this up yet, put some bigger bolts in, but there's the horns. The horns that we had previously installed replaced the city horn, which when you hit, you know, in the center of the steering wheel, that's the city horn. This is a, an actual air horn with the air tank. That was, that was louder. Yeah. That is super loud. It's fully aired up. Let's see how loud it is. That's an air horn. That's loud. Yeah. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh my gosh, here comes a chair. Yep. This looks crazy. I think I'm going to have to go up. Yeah. Yeah. It looks pretty weird in here with only one seat. Uh, about to be no seats. About to be no seats. Now I'm going to vacuum and maybe even mop this floor since it's hasn't really had a thorough cleaning since we got it. There's just dog hair everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. We have vacuumed and mopped. It's currently drying as you can see. But man, this floor was dirty. Here it comes. <laughs> you did it. The air system's done. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get up. I fall. <laughs> <laughs> you did a life alert. There they are. There's the drivers and the passenger seat. They are out. Next step to do is put these bad boys in. But first, those chairs sit on this like pedestal. Those use the factory bolts, just bolted to the floor, but these air right seats. This plate goes down over the factory studs that come up, and then the seat sits on this and bolts down here. Okay. It's a direct swap, but you need this yeah. base plate. This is 70 bucks, a $70 piece of steel. Because they know you need it. And you see there's <laughs> an arrow saying forwards. Yep. So it should be pretty easy install once we get that lined up. Mike ran the airline, which is this. Yep, it's on both sides. We're in the home stretch. Home stretch. Let's get her down. Well, that was easy. Too easy. Now you just gotta bolt it down and put the new chair on top of it, right? Yeah. One chair is in. Look at that. That looks good. Can you move your light? No. It's like washing it out. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah. yeah. Two armrests. 
leather air ride. Damn. Just needs to be bolted down and air ride hooked up and we're ready. Man, they look really good though. Oh yeah. I shouldn't say they. It looks really good. Getting the second one in. Yep. Run them down. <laughs> Give them good. Give them hell. There you go. That sounds solid. Yep. I ain't moving. Air compressor is on. There's guy barking. You got the air hooked up to the sea, so you're just letting it build up some air. You can raise these puppies up. Don't hit my chair, just turn it on, but. I hear it. Yeah, we need more air. Yeah. as it goes right here. Yeah, that's really high. <laughs> kind of like how the stock seats were. Oh yeah, they were very high. Whee! My feet are <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> Just like the, the factory seats. <laughs> yes, we still have to put the, uh, the nut on the back. We just couldn't get to it without air lifting it up. Right. But now we can do it. We Go. can. You like them? So far, I mean, I like it better when I get it all adjusted to me and everything. Yeah, so. that was a very good, straightforward swap, other than putting in the air. Uh, yeah, I so agree. Swapping the seats super easy. If you had like a ghost or something, you'd already have air tanks oh, and yeah. air supplied. All you need to do is put the seats in. Yeah, but I mean, now that we got the air system in, doing the seats was it was nothing. Yeah, very straightforward, like you said. Very easy yeah. and worth it. Definitely so far. I can't wait to actually use them going down the road to like get that air ride feel that I used to have riding in your trucks. Ready to try out these new seats? Yeah. Man, it is. Fancy. And yes, Piper is on my lap. She's uh, getting accustomed to it. She's yet to feel it do the old air ride bounce though so we'll see how she reacts to that oh, yeah. oh man <laughs> you got a little crazy there <laughs> yeah you went you went pretty wild over there well we've been driving for what 10 20 miles something like that It's 